Hello guys, Mr. Rossi1990 here, and this is a video about FIFA 13 again. It is going to be about underrated and overrated players. I've got a few people on my trade pile, which I asked on Twitter, who um, some people thought were maybe underrated or overrated in this uh, year's game. And these are the ones which came up. First up is Hat and Ben Arthur. These are all the regular cards. I know some of these have had informs across the year, like Ben Arthur, I think's highest informs, 84. But these are just the preset cards, this is what they were, obviously, when the game came out. So we've got Ben Arthur, and at a 79 of the season he's had, he's had a pretty good year, in all honesty. Now, I think he should be upgraded to around probably an 82 or 83, and hopefully a shiny, because I don't understand why he isn't a shiny card. I don't know why people are unshiny, unpopular. It just looks... In my opinion, I don't really like having non-shiny people in my team. It kind of makes, me, kind of puts it off, off puts me kind of thing because he's a non-shiny. If he was a shiny, he's all more like desirable, if that's the right word, and just like all that kind of thing. So I think potentially, probably an 82 in my opinion. If you agree with that, then obviously say in the comments. If you don't, then obviously say you don't agree. But 82 for Ben Arthur in my opinion. Now the next one's Kabai, another Newcastle player who's had a very good year. He also has done quite well for France in the Euro so far. We're up to the just past the group stages now. He's done pretty well, scored a goal. And his preset card's an 80. Now, he's had a couple of informs, I do believe. He also had a team of the season card, which was an 86. Now, I think he should be up near the 84 mark. I'm not sure if he's sticking at Newcastle in the transfer window. It looks like he probably is, but I know there's interest from, like, Man U and stuff like that. So, if he goes like Man U, then you'll probably see his card upgraded quite a bit. But I hope to see him stay at Newcastle and upgrade himself at Newcastle because he's a really good player. He's got really good stats on the card. And also, I think he's a two-star skill mover, which is... Ugh, God, I hate two-star skillers. Can't even pull out a roulette. So hopefully he's upgraded in the skills department. And he, in my opinion, probably get in my team because I really like Kabay. We've got Mika Richards coming up next. In my opinion, very, very underrated. 80 in the game. Look at them stats. He doesn't deserve to be an 80. I Probably about an 82 or 83, but it's depending if he does get in the Man City team next year. I know he's struggling to get in their team. Can't even get in the um, England team at the moment. I think he's had some injuries and stuff during the season. So not the best year for him, but just overall, I think he's definitely better than an 80. I don't know if you agree with that in the comments or not, please say. And a player, in my opinion, way overrated is Robin. He's, he's, a, he's a funny type of player. He's the type of player who's he's very greedy, likes to have a lot of shots. We've seen that in the Euro so far, if you've been watching it for Netherlands. He's been cutting in and trying to shoot all the time. He's not working for him. Now, he's a really good player, I admit that, but I think a 90 is a bit much for him. I'd like to see him maybe drop to an 87 next year, something like that. Would probably be about right, because look at him. He's still going for like 150k. Now, I've played with him in-game. I really don't like him. Because I think he's a right winger. He's probably a better right mid, in my opinion. That that's that's my personal view. Obviously, you might have a different opinion on that. But so I'd like to see him possibly drop to an 87 and probably dropped in price as well. Another player is Danny Welbeck. He cropped up in the Twitter conversation. Now, um, he's a bit of a weird one because obviously he's a man you kind of fringe player. He's a type of player who he's he's done really well. He's done really well this season. He's getting in the England squad and all that. So he's done extremely well for himself. But he's not like a man you top top player is he? he's not gonna he probably won't be a man you for seasons and seasons he's a type of player man you will nurt kind of like build up into a, a really good player then possibly shift him off to another club kind of happens a lot at man you were like pk and that went back to barcelona we didn't really see him very good at man united and went to barcelona and become one of the best center backs in the world it's just kind of like man you kind of make them who they are and then send them off to another club so what about might be one of them players I'd like to see him stay at man you though because i i oh He's a really, really good talent. I like to see him around an 80 next year. Probably a shiny. I, know there's, I think there's an inform of him at an 80. Maybe like an 81 or 82. I don't know what you guys think about that. Now, the next player is Wayne Rooney. Now, he's again a bit like Robin. I really like Rooney. I think he's a class, class player. But is 90 a good rating for him? I don't really know. I think probably about an 88 maybe. 90 just feels a really high. I mean, if you get an inform and you're a 90, you're a 91 at least. So, it just it seems... It seems a hell of a lot to start off at, if that makes sense. If he gets an informed cross here and goes up to a 90, that's fair enough. But I, I don't know. It's, with me, I don't like people starting off really high levels because then there's not much room to go into kind of thing. So 90, in my opinion, is a bit high for him, maybe about an 87. Something like that would be potentially where I would have him, but I know a lot of people will disagree with that. Um, Scott Parker's another one. Now, he he's very weird because there's a lot of people who think he's underrated and there's other people who think he's overrated. In my opinion, he's probably about right at an 82. He's a, that type of player who gives it all. Obviously, you've seen it in the Euros. He'll go in for any tackles, but at the end of the day, he's he's just an average centre midfield player. He is very, very good. I, I, really, I think he's probably underrated in the game. I'll probably have him an 83, 84, but that's my personal view. A lot of people said he should be down to probably about 78, something like that, which is, ugh, I wouldn't have him that low. So 82 is probably about the the right 
for everyone, if that makes sense. He's a very good player. He's not like great on the game. I've had him a couple of times. He just seems a bit sluggish for me. Probably best CDM than the centre mid. So that's him over and done with. But Ferdinand here, not had a very good season at all. Not got in the England squad for obvious reasons. Probably, well, not obvious reasons. I think it was to do with the whole Terry incident. They chose Terry over Ferdinand, which probably turned out to be the right decision. Ferdinand hasn't had a great year. So 87, that seems hell of a high in my opinion. I'll probably have him around at 85 next year, which probably seem about right. But then they've also got Vidic coming back, hopefully. And he, oh, amazing defender Vidic. He should stay around the 90 mark. Something like that. Probably not 90, i say that's a bit high. And I'm probably 87 for Vidic and probably 85 for Ferdinand. I'm hoping they bring down the ratings a little bit. Now, Neymar's another one who came up. He is... I don't see a lot of him playing in real life. I just know he's very good. I don't really watch the Brazilian league, so... Yeah, I don't really know what to say about him. He's a very, very good player. 84 is probably about the right for him. He's had a lot of informs across the year. So we could potentially see him going up. Then he'll cost a lot of money. We I mean, look at him at the moment. That's that's a that's not a good deal, picking him off 8.2 in, in striking. You can pick him, pick him for about 4, I think, on an open bid, which is disgusting <laughs> compared to what I used to go for at the beginning of the year. If you get a Neymar in the pack now, it's almost thinking like discarding him, which is absolutely ridiculous the next guy is obviously Kagawa now he's an 82 as things start I do believe that might not be the right card I think it is but he's obviously moved to Man United now and he is such a talent he had I think was it a 90 team of the season card so he was very very underrated at the start I think he'll probably be like an 85 at Man United centre mid and he'll just be an absolute he'll be in all your BPL teams next season I will pretty much come out and say that right now Next player is Vaz Tay. Now, he's a bronze at the start, and obviously he's just got promoted now with West Ham. So a lot of people said he's definitely underrated. And he has had an informed silver, which was a 73, I do believe. So that's 10 levels higher right there. So basically, he'll definitely go up to silver, definitely. I'm not too sure how high. He'll probably be one of them 74 silvers who just everyone loves next year. I can see him being that type of player. Now, the next player is Fernando Torres. Now, if you asked me this a couple months back, I would have said downgraded him because he had a horrible start to the season, but... Just coming into the Euros off the like Champions League and all that at the end of the season at Chelsea. He looks like he's turning back into the player we all know and love. He's a very, very good player. Now, 86 doesn't actually seem that high in this game at the moment. Obviously, next year, I'm hoping they bring it down a little bit, cap the uh, ratings a little bit. So we, you know, don't get all the 90s and stuff. I don't really like to see that because I like it when you get an inform and it's a 90. You feel a bit more special than having like a 90 Rooney. In my opinion, so Fernando Torres, I would like to see if it, if they were going to drop him because of a season, I wouldn't drop him any lower than 85. I think hopefully he'll stay at an 86, so that would be pretty darn good. And I want him in my team, so I love Fernando Torres. We've also got Nene, who is also one of them players who's had a shitload of informs across the year. I think Nene and Kagawa were the main two getting all the informs. Obviously Messi and Ronaldo and all them, but the like little players you didn't really know about until this game. Now he's an 84. Is that his star card? I'm not 100% sure about that, but. He'll probably stay an 84 and rise throughout next year's game, getting all the informs. And the last player we have got is Dost. Now, this is ridiculous. His actual preset card, guys, was a 70 non-shiny silver. Now, if you are aware, he did get into the team of the season for the... It was like the Bundesliga and the Holland League and stuff like that. He was an 87. So he's gone up 17 levels. Now, that is absolutely insane. How underrated is this guy? I don't know much about him. Like, from a playing perspective, I haven't seen him play much. I've seen him play a couple of times. I've seen, like, YouTube videos and various videos. He looks like a bit of a brute. I think he's quite tall. He's six foot four. yeah. He's very good in the air, that type of player. So, oh, my God, I don't know what to say about him. I can't believe they underrated him so much. I reckon he'll probably be a gold next year. He'll probably be, like, an 80, and he'll be that type of player you don't really like in your team. He'll probably be, like, a discard type of player. But he might be getting in forms next year because he's a very good talent. I'm not sure how old he is, actually. Let's have a little look. He isn't exactly old. He's about 23. Something along those lines. So, yeah, that's actually the end of this episode, guys. I hope you're enjoying this um, FIFA 13 talk. My voice has gone crazy. I'm stuttering my words a bit here. But if you think I missed out anyone, obvious people I probably missed out on Ronaldo, Rooney and that. Uh, Messi, sorry. If you think Messi's overrated, I don't really know a lot anyone could do about that. EA kind of love Messi, so he'll definitely be a high-rated card. There's no doubt about that, Messi and Ronaldo. There's not really much point saying that they're overrated in the game because there's not a lot we're going to do about it. There's not a lot we're going to do about these, to be honest. But I thought I'd just show you some people I think are probably under and overrated. If you think I've missed anyone out, be sure to leave them in the comments. Also, like this video like it is your bitch. Smack that button like it's your bitch, I should say. And yes, that's the end of this episode, guys. I hope you're enjoying it, and I'll see you next time. So, bye.